Hi, welcome back to Innovative Research Lab. My name is Tabitha. Today we're exploring some common questions that customers may have about choosing an ELISA kit. One of the questions is, how do you choose between an active or a total ELISA kit? Choosing between an active and a total ELISA kit depends on the biological functions that you're trying to answer in your results. Here are some key distinctions between active and a total ELISA kit. Here's what an active ELISA kit measures. Only the functionally active form of the protein, such as cleaved, unbound, enzymatically active, or receptor competent is measured. For an activity kit, the capture antibody or component coated on the plate is specifically designed to selectively bind the active conformation of the protein and not the latent or inactive or complexed forms. This setup mimics the natural biological interaction, making it highly specific. Here's what a total ELISA kit measures. All forms of the target protein, such as active, inactive, bound, and unbound, regardless of its functional state. The kit, or more specifically the plate of this kit, captures the specific protein in all of its forms because it is coated with an antibody, could be a monoclonal or a affinity purified polyclonal specific for its target. Here's an example, the mouse PI-1 total ELISA kit. PI-1 is a central regulator of the blood fibrinolytic system. Someone interested in purchasing this kit would be studying increased PI-1 levels, the risk for thrombosis or decreased levels of PI-1 in recurrent bleeding. This mouse plasminogen activator inhibitor type 1, PI-1, total assay is intended for the quantitative determination of the total PI-1 in mouse plasma, serum, cell culture media, tissue lysates, and other biological fluids. PI-1 circulates in the blood as active or inactive, which could be in complex with another protein or latent. This total ELISA kit will capture all forms. Let's break down when to use each option. Choose an active ELISA kit if you want to quantify only the functional form relevant to a biological process or disease mechanism. Monitor changes in activity such as enzyme activation or inhibition in response to treatment. As an example, Measuring active PI-1 to track inhibition in coagulation research. Choose a total antigen ELISA kit if you want to assess the overall presence of a protein, regardless of whether it is currently functional. Evaluate the total protein production or clearance rates. As an example, measuring total PI-1 to understand total protein expression baseline levels, and disease studies. At Innovative Research, we have the mouse PI-1 active ELISA kit, and it is specifically designed to measure the activity of PI-1, so the functional assay uh, measures only the active form of the protein. The mouse PI total ELISA kit is designed to measure all forms of PI-1, regardless of its activity. So how do you choose? Define whether your research question requires understanding the protein's function, choose active, or its overall quantity, choose total. Consult your experimental goals and check your assay manual for details before ordering. Here are some quick tips. Double check the kit target. Does it specify? If still unsure, reach out to the technical support team. They can guide you to the right choice for your sample and study design. Do you want more help picking the best ELISA kit for your research? Contact the Innovative Research Team or explore our full selection online. We're here to help you find the right tools for your next breakthrough. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more science tips and tutorials from Innovative Research.